All right, my friends. Welcome to my Facebook Live. This is uh, an exciting opportunity to have a chat with you about some of the important things that I wanted to share with you today. First of all, thank you for joining me today because I know you probably have a lot of things that you would rather do on Sunday. And uh, today, I wanted to give you a special gift. That's right, just for participating in this Facebook Live video, I will offer you a gift. So stick to the end of this presentation. It's gonna be worth your time. Now, what are we gonna talk about today is something that is near and dear to my heart, and that is Qigong coaching. Why is it near and dear to my heart? It's because I pioneered this profession of Qigong coaching, and I wanted to share with you about it. And also, if you have any questions, you'll be welcome to ask me any questions about it. So before I go any further, first of all, let me look, uh, let's take a look at how it got developed. How did Qigong coaching came about? In year 2002, I was talking to a friend of mine, Dr. Roger Yanka, at the National Qigong Conference that was happening here in Portland, Oregon. And I told him that I came up with this really interesting way to teach Qigong that was not really the way that most people consider teaching. Most people think about teaching as a way to download information into the student's minds. And if the student soaks in all this information and assimilates it properly, then they'll be able to demonstrate whatever they learned in a way similar to the way the teacher does. That's what makes the student a good student. If the student can't replicate the information or skills in a way similar to the way the teacher does it, then you consider it not a good student and basically you flunk the test or just simply are not being promoted to the next level of training. Coaching, on the other hand, is not about downloading information into your, the student's mind. It's about eliciting the inner knowledge. That's right, we all have inner knowledge, don't we? We all have certain degree of common sense, intuition, gut feeling, and simply capability to connect the dots. Recognize what causes what. The, the law of cause and effect, the law of karma, is something that is not hard to comprehend, and most of us actually can connect the dots very well. If the coach invites the student or coaching client to do exactly that, to connect the dots, to see that if you do this, you get these results. If you do that, you get those results. Now, if you keep doing that, expecting these results would be insanity. So obviously you need to take the course of action that leads you to the results that you're looking for. That is one of the key principles of coaching. Another really important principle that I shared with Roger was the ability to not only tell the student how things should be done, but actually be the role model. And by role modeling, I mean not just demonstrating certain skill, but actually being a role model throughout your life. Basically the coach, especially when we talk about life coaching, needs to live life that exemplifies what the coach is trying to do in terms of helping his or her clients. So that essentially means that the coach cannot be saying one thing and doing another. There is a certain degree of integrity that is inherent to a coaching profession. And another also important thing is that the coaching provides accountability. That's right. Many students take classes, but they don't have any accountability or they don't have any follow through. And so they don't implement what they learn. They don't integrate it into their lifestyle. It especially applies to Qigong because it doesn't make any sense to just learn a Qigong style. What you need to learn is a Qigong lifestyle. And if you apply what you learn, throughout your daily life, then it becomes a Qigong lifestyle, and then it becomes an empowered way to live your life. 
when the coach provides that level of accountability, making sure that the coaching client or student actually implements what he or she decided to integrate integrate into their lifestyle or how they decided to make decisions or how they perform certain physical actions or meditation practices or other things, how often they do it, whether or not they get distracted, whether or not they find the time and energy to actually do what they say they would do. All of that combined creates a massive momentum because that momentum, you are almost guaranteed to get positive results. Without momentum, you have inertia. Overcoming inertia takes a lot more effort and energy than to maintain momentum. And that's exactly why coaching is so helpful. It actually empowers you to gain momentum with the help of a coach and then to maintain momentum without having to use any punishment <laughs> or without the threat of you flunking the tests. Now, I also introduced the testing into the tapestry of Qigong studies, which means we're not just learning certain skills or certain principles, we also test everything. Nothing that I deliver to my students is to be taken on faith. Instead, we constantly test everything. And as we go through the process of testing, I often know what the results of the test will be because I've been around the block a few times. But I also don't want the student to lose the opportunity or to miss the opportunity to actually reinvent the wheel, discover what the test is going to reveal to them. So in a sense, the person is going to reinvent the wheel, something that hundreds and if not thousands of different practitioners had done before that. But you'll never forget how the wheel works if you reinvent the wheel yourself. And that, my friend, is exactly what makes it possible and much more likely to be able to integrate what you're learning into your daily life. That also makes it so that you can trust what you're learning. Often, uh, students have a certain degree of resistance or uh, reaction to the authority figure telling them, well, this is how you should be doing things. If you do it some other way, that's wrong. Often we don't want to hear that we should do things this way and should not do things that way. Or we simply have a certain internal resistance or forget things. Well, it's much less likely that you'll forget how the wheel works if you reinvented the wheel. If you've gone through a battery of tests to discover how certain principles of energy awareness work, you will never forget how they work because you done the testing. And so in a sense, it's not the student who's getting tested. It's the principals who are getting tested. And the student is the one testing them. And that totally turns the tables. Instead of the student being put on the spot and being tested to see whether or not they're doing things right, they actually put the principles and techniques on the spot. And then they see which techniques or which principles apply to them, how they apply, whether or not there is any room for improvement. If there is, great. They can modulate or adjust or fine tune certain things. And that makes the practice much more authentic. That's right. An authentic practice is going to be the practice that is specifically applied to you or something that you created or invented, if you will. That is exactly what separates Qigong coaching from Qigong teaching. This level of authenticity also means that you are going to stay authentic over time, which means there are certain changes that you're going to experience, not only as a result of aging and passing in time, but also as a result of a certain improvement or certain healing or empowerment that you experience. And that means that some things that worked yesterday may not work the same way tomorrow. If you keep doing things the way that you did yesterday, 
that's actually going to be detrimental or at least not very effective. And that also invites you to experience greater authenticity by continuing testing so that you are constantly on the cutting edge of maximal efficiency. That's right. Efficiency or effectiveness of practice is what we want to experience. We don't want to just do things to pass time. We're busy people. We don't have time to waste, right? Well, that's exactly what we're doing through Qigong coaching. We accomplish maximum efficiency because we learn how to fine tune our practices in a way that are, there's hardly any seen in any Qigong styles or schools. Now, I do have a school. It's a school of Qigong coaching. In a sense, I realized that I don't just want to teach a style of Qigong so that there would be more students following me. Instead of a bunch of followers, I want to breed masters. So if you feel like you want to be on a path of mastery, if you aspire to not only learn certain forms and do Qigong once in a while or even every day, just for a few minutes a day, but rather you would like to live a Qigong lifestyle, informed and empowered by energy awareness, developing the authenticity, not only in terms of your own authentic understanding and, and ability to apply what you're learning, but also ability to fine tune as time goes by. I invite you to take me up on my offer. That's right, remember just a few minutes ago, I mentioned to you that I would make you an offer that you wouldn't be able to refuse. And this offer is an invitation to schedule a complimentary Qigong coaching session with me. That's right. I normally charge $250 for one session for one hour. But because you are a member of my group, I want to give you a gift, especially for taking the time to watch this video. It means that you actually are on the same page. You are a kindred spirit. And I want to offer you something that would basically serve as the token of my appreciation and also perhaps allow you to take the first step in the direction of receiving Qigong coaching or even becoming a Qigong coach. So please use the link below this video and schedule a session with me. Or you can just simply go to embodimentcoach.com, embodimentcoach.com, and schedule a session with me. I look forward to offering you an incredible opportunity to dive into Qigong coaching without any hoops to jump through, free of charge. And I guarantee that is going to be one of the best hours that you spend learning Qigong. I look forward to speaking to you very soon. Until then, namaste.